It's been a long 12 years since we last seen this shoe, and I gotta be honest, this is probably my favorite sneaker release so far in the year of 2024. And yes, it's only been two months, but I gotta be honest and just say that, man, I've been waiting for these a very, very long time. And that is the KD4 Galaxy. Guys, before we get into today's video, we are running a giveaway for the Jordan 4 Reimagine Me and Bullet RC. Any orders placed on Sample Industries from today until Sunday, this upcoming Sunday, which is February 18th, will be entered in to win a pair of Jordan 4 Reimagines. So if you place any order on our website from now till the end of this week, and we are dropping a t-shirt on this Saturday, if you order that t-shirt, you'll be entered in. One of you lucky people will win a pair of Jordan 4 Reimagines. So, yeah, enjoy. What's going on, everybody in the building, man? We have the KD4 Galaxy set to release on February 15th for a retail price point of $130. Now, that's definitely a very, very low price point. Um, I like it. I can't complain about it. But it is still more than it initially released back in 2012. And I just wanted to point that out. You know, I don't want to be a complainer, but I do want to point out the fact that these initially released for $95 back in 2012 and officially debuting back in 2011. This, of course, as stated before, was the 2012 All-Star shoe for Kevin Durant, and it was inspired by the astronaut themes of that time. You saw these alongside with LeBron 9 Big Bangs, as well as the Kobe 7 Galaxy. I gotta say that the 2012 All-Star pack was probably prime Nike basketball. And I mean that with like overall Nike's whole entire lineage career. 2012, in my opinion, when you look at what was coming out and who was coming out with the shoes at the time, you definitely had to say, damn, that was fire. You also had the Barkley Posits, the Nike NRG, and the Galaxy Phone Posits all dropping during that All-Star weekend. And those are shoes still to this day, like people like me that are on the hunt waiting for these to come back. We've seen this one now dropping in 2024. The LeBron Big Bang came out a couple years back. I want to say, what, uh, two years ago? We're still waiting on that Kobe 7 Galaxy maybe in the near future. Galaxy phone pods were rumored for 2024 this year. We still are waiting to see if that is true. We've seen 2.0s and all that, but I got to say, as I stated before, 2012 was just a magical year. Yes, we have Jordan. Jordan came through and did something extremely explosive. You have your people like Scottie Pippen, you know what I'm saying? You had your people like Dennis Rodman. You had a lot of people that came through with Nike basketball at the time, but I think that that theme and that this particular week of drops was phenomenal and just prime Nike basketball that we have yet to see come back at all with that same type of vengeance at the end of the day. 2013 was nice as well, but 2012 it will always remain as a special moment in the Nike basketball release of kicks. KD, LeBron, Kobe, Charles Barkley with his retro, the Nike NRG, which was a penny release, phone posits, Scotty Pimpin, you know, shoe, and I believe uh, ended up being initially, I believe, for Scotty Pimpin, and then ended up being for, of course, Penny Hardaway. With that being said, though, we have the KD for Galaxy. We saw that last year they dropped the KD3 Galaxy, so we knew it was only a matter of time since they brought this bad boy out. And we've seen them bring out these retros for the Kobe 6 Grinch. We've seen, as I stated, the Big Bang, LeBron 8 South Beaches. We love it. I love it, at least, seeing these shoes coming back and being able to be bought for damn near retail because a lot of these shoes were sitting in the thousand dollar price point and now they're coming back out and pretty much, I, had, I hate to say it in a bad way, I say this in a good way, but flopping in price, being able to be bought for below retail. I have no issue with that whatsoever. I gotta say though, when it comes to the KD line, this is like KD's best model. You know, some people would say that Kobe's, one of his best models was the six. You feel me? You had the Grinches with the six. You've had, uh, of course, the sevens. I, I honestly think the sevens and the sixes have a lot to combat, you know, combat about because the sevens had, of course, the galaxies. You had, of course, um, the uh, the Christmas, which was amazing. But you, of course, it's the six, the Grinch Christmas. You had on the six also the cheetahs. So there's a lot of different things. The spiders. Um, there's a lot of just the back and forth. The jokers. I believe those were the fives were a Kobe joker. So there's a lot of going on within the Kobe's spec, but I would say when it came to the KD, the four was the best one. You had, like I stated before, Year of the Dragon, you had the All-Star Pack, you had the Scoring Champion, the Nerf, the Weatherman, 
those two are supposedly releasing this year as well. So this is the best time to hop on and grab these. And believe it or not, as I've stated before, some of the shoes being, you know, kind of flopping or some of them not doing as well as you think. Hence like a LeBron 9, LeBron Palmer, Honor Palmer, whatever, LeBron Palmer, which at one point was damn near, you know, a myth. Even some of the PEs, this flatlining, able to get for below retail. I think that this shoe will do fairly well. I think that this shoe is a shoe that you're gonna have to get up and get to it. As you guys have seen my channel, you know me personally, like I've been always going after the shoes that I could not get at one time. And I had always circled around Jordans for the most part. We finally see though now that the Nikes are coming out and I'm now getting happy and excited about these. Hence, like I stated before, Big Bangs, Kobe's and all that. This is a shoe that I've been waiting for for a very, very long time. I came in on YouTube in 2013, very heavy. 2012 was the year before these drops. So coming in, doing my sneaker stuff, really getting involved. I saw these and they had, you know, I came in a year late and I was like, damn, I want them. They're going for like a thousand dollars at the time. You feel me? So being able to see these come back, it's just a bittersweet moment of my entire YouTube sneaker career at the end of the day. And I've been talking a lot. I mean, let's just get into the shoe itself. The shoe itself, uh, for the most part, is a one of one of the original. I don't think they really changed much, which is good. Um, I will say that the midsole, man, has a very crazy shine to it. I do know that Bull had a pair of these, and me personally just looking at these, like that shine, it looks a little bit more glossy in my opinion than the original model, but I don't have an original model that just take it for face value. At the same time, it being a 12 year old shoe, it could be that reasoning for that less gloss is just the gears of wear and it doling over time. The outsole, amazingly still sticky to this day. I mean, these are probably still phenomenal, even though they're 12 years old, to actually, you know, rock and play in on the court. Like I'm pushing, like I moved the desk. You see, I moved the desk, not the shoe. So there is a lot of grip going on on this shoe, which is phenomenal. Uh, you also, of course, got, um, the KD embroidered on the back, the Nike swoosh, and then the amazing strap goes across the tongue. And this strap is in 3M. This outsole is in glow in the dark. And you had that anti-vent, I believe it's called. Is it called the anti-vent adaptive vent going on throughout the shoe? And I believe these shoes are made out like of a polyurethane material. Uh, that they were doing in a very specific time in basketball shoes, which was very durable, but at the same time, extremely light. So loose to, you know, Nightwing, I'm pretty sure he probably goes in a little bit more depth than me on the basketball aspect of this shoe and how it actually works. But I think that the lockdown, which this does feature kind of similar, has lockdown pull tabs on the LeBron 9 Big Bang. This one, though, goes across the top of the foot, which gives you a extreme nice lockdown. You have that, of course, the logo featured on the tongue, which kind of gives you that astronaut experience, that patch. And that was what the whole entire theme was based upon, like space traveling. LeBron had his version, KD had his version, Kobe had his version as well. Um, and one thing I do like, well, I just saw it. One thing you had that, that was always kind of an issue with this shoe, and I would say I did, it didn't do it, but now it is doing it and I don't want to keep doing it, is the strap. You got to watch out with the strap with the laces because if they touch, this Velcro touches the laces over time, you're gonna be running into issues where it's ripping the fibers out of the shoelace. So with me personally, like I like to rock this casually. I just kind of let it be a little bit, a little bit more loose. And I honestly, do, I can slide my foot straight in on the shoe. You might be wondering about sizing because I was curious about sizing as well. And you look at the shoe and you look at the actual toe box, it's extremely slim right here. Honestly, I'm wearing a size eight and a half, which is my true size. You guys know I'm eight and a half, nine. I go with eight and a half majority of the time for a more snug fit. And I felt perfectly fine. I don't feel like I'm getting my foot cut off or the circulation being cut off. It is a very snug fit, but what I like as a snug fit. So you can go true to size. I wouldn't say go half size up or none of that. I honestly like how this fits. So go true to size is what I would recommend for y'all at the end of the day when it comes to this. I think you'll be good to go. On the inside, you got the Galaxy on the inside of that shoe with the constellations going on. You also got that going on on this shoe as well. Constellations going on throughout the whole entire shoe. You got that star speckle going on in the midsole as well, as I stated before. And for the most part, phenomenal. Um, like I said, man, there are nerves and weathermans that I think, you know, they may do better because of the hype beast uh, effect, but personally, when it comes to my personal opinion, I think this might be one of the best, if not the best, 
um, KD ever. Like this is my favorite. This is my favorite KD. This one right here. We've got Aunt Pearls maybe coming out because Aunt Pearls came out with the threes. We'll probably see an Aunt Pearl KD four, which is another big one. Weathermen look really good. Like them. The, the nurse really good. Like them. But this something about this entire theme was always attractive in the colors. Very very nice as well. So I think you guys are gonna love it just as much as I do. Um, they look great on feet. These are still, in my opinion, very casual. I wear them with jeans in this video on the on foot. I wear them with shorts and I wear them with joggers. I think they look well with all of them, in all honesty. They are that silver shine shoe, so matching it, if you want to be a super matchy person, it might be a little bit different, you know, than your typical rock because of that. It might be a little, you know, you might, uh, me personally, I don't give a damn. You wear an orange shirt, I'm good to go. Let everything else pop and do is let the shoes speak for themselves. On the box, features a typical KD box. KD4 metallic silver slash total orange agent. Yeah, inside nothing, nothing special. I will say, just if I had to take some guesses or what maybe some of the differences are from the previous one, a lot of the previous pairs when it came to the LeBron 9 Big Bang as well as the Kobe 6 Grinch, I've noticed that they've kind of made the shoes a little bit more vibrant for these retro releases. They've been a little bit more vibrant. They haven't been, they've like kind of saturated it more and popped it a little bit more. Um, these do have a lot of life into them. Someone like Bull probably will be able to give us a better review if Bull can return to YouTube once again on his one month hiatus. But with that being said, we'll just have to wait and see. The KD4 though, there is no retro on the label as well. I mean, I'm not saying they needed it, but you know, that's something I just noticed as well. The laces feature the 3M. We'll throw, throw in some 3M content for you guys and girls to see, as well as some glow in the dark. So you can check that out and see how that looks on there as well. So yeah, KD4 Galaxy. Make sure you guys go and make an order on Sample Industries. You got until this Sunday, we'll be giving away a pair of the Jordan 4 Reimagine to one of you guys and girls that places an order throughout this whole entire week. I love y'all, I appreciate y'all, and I'm gonna end y'all off with that on foot review.